Well, welcome everyone to um, you and I together. Um, today is week number six, and we will be making my plate mini pizza. And so first of all, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Su Guan Li. I am with University of Idaho Extension, and I'm located in Twin Falls County. And at University of Idaho, we provide um, practical education to you where you live, and we focus on different topics such as 4-H, um, forestry, community development, as well as like um, nutrition and health. And so Amy has a video uh, to show you. Idaho youths are learning about science, technology, engineering, and math through fun, hands-on activities offered by the University of Idaho Extension 4-H Youth Development. From straw rockets to robotics and aerodynamics to drones, 4-H is preparing Idaho's next generation to solve tomorrow's problems. All right, Sue, and before you continue on, I'm gonna launch the first poll. So if everyone um, who is attending, if you could take just a quick minute and answer the poll. There are four questions. So um, if you could scroll down and answer all of them. We're just trying to gather who's in our audience today. So how many adults are attending at your location? How many youth? Have you attended a University of Idaho Extension workshop before? And then also, um, have you attended you and I together before? All right, so it looks like most of you have um, filled out the poll. So I am going to be uh, ending that and letting Sue continue uh, with her presentation. Perfect, um, thanks, Amy. So um, as I mentioned earlier on, I am located in Twin Falls County. And um, I do a lot of classes related to um, nutrition and health. Um, I also work with horticulture educator and we teach people how to grow your own food at home or at, um, in a small setting, for example, and then how you use the food that you grow to prepare healthy food out of it. It's kind of fun with that. Um, I also do a lot of teaching classes sorry, um, cooking classes um, with youth and adults, both um, in person as well as virtual with that. Um, so it has been, has been great. I also lead Eat Smart Idaho program in our area, so-called uh, the Magic Valley area. So it has, has been also great to teach people how to utilize the resources you have um, to plan healthy meals at home. So for today, I'm sorry, my PowerPoint just doesn't work with this computer. Um, it worked out well when I did it in my office and had to switch it to home and I realized I don't um, get the capacity, but we just make it work, right? When you have technical difficulties. So thank you for your patience. So if you have a copy of the recipe, um, so today we will be making my plate mini pizza. So before I start, I'm just curious to see um, what do you know about my plate? Have you heard of my plate? You can either type it in the chat or um, I think you have the capacity to unmute yourself if you want to just say something. Have you heard of my plate? That's the title of this um, today's lesson. Yeah, you have heard of my plate. Awesome. Yeah. What does it um, remind you of um, of my plate? Um, does it really have food or something? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So we have people who have heard of it, but we also have people who have not heard of it. Okay. So yes, you're right. It used to be, we call it a food pyramid, which is like a triangle. We talk about healthy food um, of that. 
But I think it's even easier nowadays we use a plate to describe your food. Food on your plate, okay? So think about food that you want to put on it. And definitely, yes, balanced diet, something that you wanted to have um, for your meals that you always wanted to keep that in mind. So half of your plate should fill with fruit and vegetables, okay? So when you have a plate of your food, always remind yourself half of your plate, a plate should be um, fruits and vegetables. And then a quarter should be your grain group, which gives you energy, lots of energy with that, as well as nutrients for that, as well as um, protein. So a quarter of your plate should be um, protein primarily lean protein that is good for your muscles, okay? So that is a, a well-balanced diet on your plate. So four food groups, fruit, vegetables, protein, and grain. And finally, you want to have a dairy group that's good for your bone, right? Bone health. A small plate, well, this is what I will be using it today, but the recommended um, size of your dinner plate should be a nine inch plate. So we are talking about portion about nine inch. So yes, a dinner plate, I know at a restaurant, they can serve you as big as a 12 inch, but you wanted to stick to a, a nine inch plate. So really good, so five food group. So for today's uh, recipe, you will be making a pizza at home that can be healthy, but also with five food groups, okay? So first of all, make sure your hands are already washed. We start with clean countertop, okay? We'll go ahead and start uh, with making um, your pizza sauce, which is something I like. So homemade pizza sauce, very easy, okay? The first thing, first ingredient is you want a can of tomato sauce as well as a can of tomato paste, okay? I'm not sure if you are going to work along with me right now, but if you are, or maybe if you make it another time, you may notice that your tomato sauce is more liquid, and your tomato paste is thicker. So it's like a paste of it, right? So this is my tomato paste. It's like really thick, nothing will come out of it. But if you use your tomato sauce, it's really liquid. Okay, so I'm gonna push my camera down a little bit so that you maybe you can see a little bit. Okay, so I am going to have a, um, a bowl, a mixing bowl, okay? I'm gonna empty a can of my tomato sauce. And then I'm gonna use a spatula to empty my tomato paste, okay? Smells really good with the tomato-y flavor, okay? All you need, so just empty the whole can of it, okay? So get a good mix because tomato sauce, I mentioned it's really liquid, but paste is really thick. So you want to give a good mix so that they are well combined to give you a really nice texture and consistency for your pizza sauce, okay? Okay, I think it looks pretty good, okay? And then the next thing is your seasoning for your pizza sauce. So on the recipe card, um, so you will use a teaspoon of the garlic powder, a teaspoon of oregano, dry oregano, and then two teaspoons of dry basil, okay? This will be all the seasoning that you will need. So you add it to the sauce, and combine it well, there you go. And so this will be your, um, your, your pizza sauce. See how easy this is to, to make pizza, um, pizza sauce, right, at home. So your pizza sauce um, for, for the seasoning, so you, if you want, like over summertime, if you have your homegrown garden, your herbs, you are more than welcome to use fresh herbs like fresh basil, fresh oregano. Just keep that in mind, you will need a lot more when you use the fresh one. Because when it's dry, they are more concentrate. So it's, um, how do you say, it's thicker when you use um, the dry form, so you don't need that much, okay? 
but you use when you use the fresh one, you're more than welcome to 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 add more. So this is my whole bowl of my pizza sauce. And then the next thing is my pizza crust. Of course, you can spend hours to make your homemade um, pizza crust. Personally, I like to use bagels because at home, you probably have things like bagels or English muffins or any kind of bread at home, right? If you already have that, that would be awesome. You don't spend hours to, um, to make the pizza crust. So this will be my crust today. Okay, the next thing is I am just going to spread my pizza sauce on my bagel. And I purposely chose 100% whole wheat bagel because it has more fiber than the regular bagel. Okay, so here you go, my sauce, okay. Then, the fun part, pizza toppings. What is your favorite pizza topping? I heard like people always say um, cheese, for example, but there are a lot more that you can put on your pizza. So I have everything with me, so I would like to show you again. Okay. So I have definitely shredded cheese. Okay, I also have spinach, baby spinach. I have pineapples as well as canned chicken. Hi, so whatever order you like. Generally, I like to start with cheese, just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, so a little bit, some kind of cheese. Then I like to lay my um, spinach on top. So some spinach here. I sometimes like um, um, to put like slice um, bell peppers, for example, whatever vegetables I have on hand, okay? And so once you have leafy greens on top, it's fun to put um, something heavier like pineapple tidbits. So they put, lay perfectly on top. Okay. So some yellow color of the pineapple pivots. Don't know if you can see. And then some canned chicken. So I'm using my hands, you can tell, to put on my toppings. And that is why it's really important to wash your hands right before you start preparing it so that everything is clean and then you just make your own toppings and you will be the one eating the pizza that you make. So some canned chicken toppings on top and the last part is more cheese. So I will sprinkle more cheese on top. There you go. I know it looks really loaded, right? But it's so good. So it doesn't take too long to bake it. So make sure your oven is preheated. And as long as your oven is hot, right? And you can just put it in your oven, okay? You can also make it in an air fryer. So that's what I will be making using air fryer later after this class, because it works just well. You probably need to adjust the temperature a little bit and just take a look at it. Um, probably you won't take that much time to bake it probably about five minutes or so. You just need to take a look at it. As long as the cheese is melted, you are pretty much set. So cheese is melted, it turns into a little bit like brown color, golden brown color, it's ready. So see, it doesn't take more than five minutes to make this pizza. Um, any ingredients, any topping you like, okay? So I don't know how you are doing with that, but this is just my, my plate pizza. There you go, five minutes. Um, and then use any ingredients you have on hand. Just really feel free to try different um, toppings. So I wonder, um, so we talked about earlier on about my plate, right? So start with the food group vegetables. 
So on my this uh, my plate mini pizza, what would be the um, the vegetable on here on my pizza? What would that be? Can you tell? Do you think what would that be? Salad. Did you say salad, Emma? Yeah. Very good. Yes. Any kind of green, leafy greens? Yes. Like spinach, like salad or lettuce, whatever that you want to put in. That would be good. So I have that. Um, what about tomatoes? Do you think tomatoes would be a vegetable? Well, we count it as a vegetable um, for, 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 new, for food, right? Um, so tomatoes would be another one, very good. What about fruit? Early on, I put on a fruit on my pizza. What would that be? What is the fruit? That gives you a little sweetness and a little bit of sour taste too. I definitely loved it. Can you think of it? What would that be? Let's see if I see something. Was it not here? That's something that you were gonna eat it before you put it on the pizza? Yeah, the yellow color. So that will be the pineapple. Yeah. So pineapple, yep, yeah, it will be my fruit, right? So pineapple will be my food group on here. So exactly, yep, yeah, that will be it. That my pineapple is, um, it will be my fruit group. What about my protein? What is the protein on this pizza? What food would that be that I put on? Would be the protein group. Can you give an example? Do you know, do you know what would be the, yeah, Emma has an answer. What would that be, Emma? Chicken. <gasps> Chicken, really good, excellent. Yes, that would be chicken, the canned chicken that I put on top, right? So protein would be chicken, pork, fish, seafood, um, what else? Beef, right? Um, so let's say if you really like the pepperoni, right? That might be the protein, sort of protein of it, although pepperoni will have a lot more salt, a lot more fat for that. So that is why I chose um, canned chicken because it's candy, it comes in a can and it's canned in water. So it's um, lean meat and healthier for me. Okay, and then the last one, nope, I still have one. What is that? With the chicken, you talked about it being canned. Yes. Can you tell us why? You can definitely use beans as well. Thank you, Sari. So yeah, beans can be count as a, a fruit as well as a vegetable group. So Sorry, beans- Sue. Sue, I asked about the chicken being canned. Yes, canned chicken. Have Is there a reason you didn't use raw chicken? Um, because um, if you definitely, if you definitely can use um, raw chicken, but you need to cook it ahead of time. Because otherwise, your chicken will be still raw, but the rest is already cooked. But if you have leftover chicken, yes, definitely. Or leftover ham, they'll eat meat. That will just be faster for you, okay? Or beans, canned beans as well. So beans can count it as a vegetable, but it's also a good source of protein. So that will be another thing that you can do. Um, and then what about the grain group? The grain that can give you lots of nutrients, but also the energy that when you eat it, it makes you feel full. Can you think of that? A grain a group? What would that be on here? And how would I avoid overcooking leafy greens in the process of cooking in the pizza? Um, that is why I put it at the bottom. Otherwise, if I put my leafy greens on top, it turns to turn brown or blackened quicker. So I kind of put it down. Yeah, that might be a tip too for, for, for you. But you wanted to use toppings that, has, uh, toppings that have less water, less watery, that would be helpful too. Otherwise your crust will be soggy. 
So the, uh, the quick answer for my grain group will be my crust, my pizza crust. Did you guess that? Because that is the grain, right? The bread. It gives you the vitamins as well as the energy you will need, right? And then finally, last but not least, my fifth food group will be my dairy group. And that will be all my shredded cheese, right? All the cheese on top will be my fifth group, my, my dairy group. So see, I really cover five food groups on my pizza. Not only it is tasty, it looks really colorful. You know, I have green, yellow, a little bit of pink color from the meat, um, but it really tastes good. So if you just want, you know, you always eat one topping on your pizza, hey, next time, maybe you want to try something different, different toppings. So I never had it before, but you know, it's always fun. Guess what? When you put it in your mouth, and you take a bite, all the flavor and texture will all combine together. It's really good, trust me. Uh, we have done this recipe in many camps, many classes. Sometimes kids just don't know, but they liked it after they try it. So I hope that you get to try all that, right? Think about different fruit, different fruit group next time for your toppings, okay? And the sauce is just one can. Yes, no garlic or, oh yes, I have garlic powder. I don't know if I told you earlier on, it was just one 14 and a half ounce of the um, tomato sauce and then a small can of the tomato paste. And then the seasoning is about a teaspoon of the garlic powder and then some herbs. So yeah, no problem. Let us know if you need um, the, the recipe again. So um, that is what I have. Also, um, when we talk about my plate, so, um, so re to recap, right? So my plate, make sure you all want to have like fruit and vegetables uh, on, your, on your plate. So eat lots of that. And then when it comes to grain group, you want to make sure half of your grain with whole grains. So that is why I chose 100% whole wheat because it's a good source of Whole grain gives you uh, more fiber, so it makes you um, feel full longer. It also helps with your, um, your, your gut, your stomach as well. And then um, when it comes to protein, like we talk about chicken and fish and beef and pork, gives you good muscle, so you want to choose lean meat. And then finally is the cheese or dairy or even just a glass of milk to pair with your pizza. Voila, dinner is ready in five minutes. So I think with the help of your uh, adults at home, you definitely can make this easily at home, right? So if you happen to make it at home, maybe you want to send a recipe to Serene um, so that um, we would love to see your, your action photo if you happen to make that.